it's Abby and today I have the Lonely Moon Space Ghost Bunny set from Finding Unicorn. I actually got this set in a lucky bag. I think it was about 60 maybe $80. It was a while back now, but you could either win random blind boxes, which I was actually going for because I wanted to do a random Finding Unicorn. Apparently I got lucky and I did because I don't have many from this set. I'm really excited. I love the Shinwu ghost bears and now I have a set of bunnies. Not quite my toy shelf, but it'll do. At least it's a little more colorful now. First box, I love the design of these. This is for the Year of the Rabbit. I believe it came out around Lunar New Year, the beginning of the year. There are 12 figures in this set and one secret, I believe. No, there's two secrets. The little, the small hidden and the, I forget what it's called, extra hidden. My favorite from the set is the secret one, but also Rainbow Pour. I think I own Moon Eraser. I can't remember if I've gotten any others from random blind boxes. I guess we'll find out. Oh, the sticker's on the other side. It's usually over here, I feel like. Isn't the design on the bag pretty? I love how Finding Unicorn always has cute bags. Bunny's moon system. I see yellow. Oh! It's a yellow or orange bunny, and look, it has like a ray gun, laser gun, and there's star confetti in it. That's really cute. I think this set kind of has an ongoing paint theme, so the bunny hood is very drippy, like paint. Look at the shading on the tail. That's cute. Is that the tail even? And then I want to call it a bib, but a little collar. Let me get closer. Look at it. The little star sequins or confetti in there. That's really cool. The hood is the smooth silicone type plastic. It's matte. I really like that. I think there are some glossy figures in this set too. I like how they mix textures. As always, it comes with a weight. And here is the card. It is the Lonely Moon Meteor Sniper. And look at the card. It's like a Game Boy. Let's go from the top, I guess. Number two. This one feels a little bit heavier. It's definitely a bunny. Actually, I think this set, they are a lot of main bears, as I call them. Not too many little sidekicks. There's one right there, and I guess this one could be considered one too. Oh! Okay, I will show you guys, but this is one that I have. It is called Moon Eraser, and I think the design is stunning. Excuse the reflections, but look at that very pretty deep purple. Isn't that nice? And then Bunny's wearing a helmet with eyes on it. I really like that, how it covers the head. And then it's holding an eraser. I really love this one. Here is the card. I love the cartridge. We're gonna have to move them in a second, but they can live there for now. Box number three. I really like this set, and I think it goes with the paint theme, but they are basically, ouch, <laughs> a rainbow of figures, so I can't wait to line them up in rainbow order. So that sticker is perforated, but it never really likes to tear. Oh. Wait, is this a special card? Why is it in a bag? Oh my goodness, spoiler. Let's look at the figure first. Maybe. Oh, it's yellow. It's Paint Roller Bunny wearing a construction hard hat. I guess painting the star. Look at that face. This is a really pretty pastel yellow. There's a gradient, a little more orange towards the tips of the ears. And then the tail, or yeah, I guess tail, is a little more orangey too. And this one is a glossy one, so they're kind of similar, but not really. I prefer the glossy figures. How about you? Glossy or matte? Let's check out this card situation. Oh my goodness, it's one of the rare cards. It's a unique card. 
What set was I opening that I got a unique card from? Was it the Amy set? Wait, this is even more cool. It's 3D, has little epoxy, not stickers, but you know, it's bumpy. That's so cool. Can you see the hollow? I love it. Oh look, there's an extra logo. It's called Hit Card. And there's the serial number for the figure, I believe. I've never actually registered my figures. I believe you can do so on WeChat, which I don't have an account for, so I've never done that. Whoops, that card just fell behind. It's fine, we're gonna be moving them anyway. That's so cool, I love getting the unique cards. Number four, I wanna see Rainbow Poor. I've never seen it in person. I don't think it is, but I'm gonna be bummed if it is flocked. I can't remember. Also, I remembered I have the half heart bunny and the other half, so if I get those, I might not open them because those are flocked and I don't wanna get them dusty if I'm passing them on to someone else, you know? But, as you all know, I have moved into my new studio slash office, and that means ugh, collection videos, and I'm getting a lot of votes for Shin Wu collection first. If you want to take part in voting for my videos in what order I film them, please become a YouTube member. We have a super secret Discord. Sorry, I'm trying to talk in between plastic noises. And it's a little hidden channel in my Discord, which you can join for free. No membership needed, and you should do so. But um, we have a lot of fun in the super secret chat, so if you have $2 to spare, please become a member. I have a few more perks coming to the higher tiers that I hopefully will be able to announce this month or next month. Here it is! Rainbow Pour! And it's glossy. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna say it, it gives me Studio Ghibli spirited away, no face vibes. Does anyone else get that? I think it's just because it's because of the pour, maybe? There's a pink bunny inside, and then it's a very beautiful rainbow. We love that. Look at how vibrant that pink is. And then there's an orange, kind of a peachy color. The blues, the purple up top, which you don't see too much of because it blends with the pink. Then the green, it's so perfect. This is my absolute favorite one. Oh, look at the bunny's teeth too. Oh, I guess they all have them, I didn't notice that. And the eyes are glittery, so perfect. Also, you know how I said I wasn't gonna open the flocked ones in case I got them? I guess I should be checking the cards first, huh? Rainbow pour, absolute favorite. One more from the top tier. Number five, not quite, halfway there. Whoa, that one just snapped open. Okay, I'm gonna peek at the card. Okay, we're gonna open it. Oh, this is pretty. It comes with a vehicle. I don't know if we're ready for this. Look at this, it's like a tank. Pink and teal. A little bit of purple, very much my colors. A little bit of green in there. And then here is the bunny, super Hmm, a milk bottle? Am I saying that right? Is that what I'm thinking of? The kind of pastel -y glass? I love that they all have gradient ears. The darker green, the lighter green. I was gonna say something really deep about like the earth being a grenade, but I think it's just a grenade with the moon on it. Not as deep as I thought, but a very cute figure. This one's called Love Shooter. I like it even though it's not my favorite color. I think because it's a pastel green too. Unfortunately, this card's a little bent. I hate when that happens. There are our first five. Can we get rid of that glare? There we go. Let's grab this one. Oh, it's light. I'm gonna guess it's this one, which I don't think I have. Honestly, I don't remember. I've opened a few of these, but... This is why we need the collection video so you guys can remember what I own. And tell me. Gonna peek real quick. Okay, we can open it. Look at it. Okay, I'm pretty sure I don't have this. It's a glittery star in a UFO. Is that a UFO? It's shaped like a bunny with heart eyes. Some dust on it. 
It reminds me of um, Baiki Mang from Ampa Mang, the bad guy, his little flying ship. Oh, look at the tail. This one goes with the set very nicely. This is Revenger. I think we'll put these in front now. This one's heavy. Let me peek. We could open it. I think this one was my friend's favorite because she likes red. That was a spoiler. Look at it. I do like the bunnies with non-floppy ears, the ear standing up, but the floppy-eared buns are cute too. I think this is just a little accessory that you set by it. I think it's a lantern. Teeny tiny star hard at work. Doorbell rang and I had to run. What was I saying? That this is a very cute figure? Sounds about right. Do they all? Oh, they don't have the stitch marks. Interesting that this one does. Also a construction worker, hard hat. And here is the little lantern. I think that's what it is anyway. I think this one's called Miner. Moon Miner? Yup, Moon Miner. Looks a little distressed. Next one, let's take a peek. Oh, the sun's coming back out again. Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, I haven't finalized anything in this room yet, obviously. No toy shelf, no proper lighting yet. It's always new for every place I move to. Let me peek. Oh, we can open this one too. This set really is full of main bunnies. I appreciate. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen this one before. It is a brown, I guess orange, but you know, browns bunny. There's a bear on his helmet. This is a cool helmet. They have a few different styles. And there's a flag. Oh, it says SOS. Oh no. Look at that. I love it. The heart, where was, oh yeah, it was the moon eraser. The heart was upside down. I thought that was interesting. Shall we look at the card and see what this one's called? Lost in space. I like this one. I like all of them. Honestly, this set, it's so perfect. How about you guys? Are you fans of the bears or do you like the bunnies? I really hope Shinu does other animals too. That would be really fun. Number, I don't know, four more left. For some reason I thought there were 10 in the set and I got really confused. I was like, this isn't seven or six. I still can't math. We are on a roll. This one's really cool too. I think this may be at least in my top three. I think Rainbow Pour is still my absolute favorite. But look at this one. We have to take an in-depth look at this one. So obviously holding the paintbrush with blue translucent paint. How cool is that? And then there is a little bear on top of its head coming out of a paint tube that says tears. It's so perfect. The colors, the gradient on the translucent side and then on the pastel side, the opaque side. It's glossy, it's crying, it's blue. 100% me. These two are definitely my favorites from the set. Screenshot time. This one's called Paint With Tears. Very sad, but such a good design. Three more to go. We should have the two flocked ones and the non-main bunny. I would still count these as main bunnies, even though they're not, you know, this form. Does that make sense? So this set really doesn't have much filler, as I would call it. Oh, there's the first one that looks like this. I think both Sylvia and I have gotten multiples of these. So we have like full sets for like three people. So I'm just gonna leave this one in the bag because I don't want dust on the flocking. It's very cute. I love that it's a pear figure. I will show you guys the full lineup when I do my collection video. I think I have three full Shinu sets now. Is it four? I think it's three. Oh, I lied. I have one that I haven't unboxed yet. That's a little bit older and a little bit rare. Leave me a comment and see if you can guess it. 
If you can, I'll add your comment to the unboxing video when I do it. I think this is the little one. So we might have to unbox those first before I do my collection video. Because we want to see all of them. An army of Shinu bears and bunnies. Amazing. Also, the sun's coming out again. I don't know if I like this changing light. Right now it's very pretty, but I need to get some studio lights. Here it is. What was this one called again? The little moon. It's a little tiny bunny. Honestly, even if it is a filler figure, it's so well made. I would not feel that way about this. Maybe if I just bought one and got it, I'd be a little bit sad. Look at the bow. And then hearts on the back of the helmet. And the earpiece has stars. It's very, very detailed. And the paws. I like how they've color blocked it. And I love the colors, the dark blue. It's almost a purple. And I think it's a little bit pearlescent on the helmet. Yeah, looks good. So that means we know what that one is, but it could be the secret one. So let's open it. Imagine if it was. Cross your fingers. It'll be the luckiest video ever. Here we go. No, oh, nope, it's the other half. So it's the pair and I will find them a very good home. Look at them. I want to line them up in rainbow order. We'll start with purple here. Blue, green, yellow, orange, brown, red. Here, we need to scoot a little more. We'll stagger them a bit maybe. How's that? I suppose the brown could go after the red, but it kind of fits with the orange. You're over here. You're like a blue purple. Well, we'll just have him sit back here. He's fine. And then the star, to me anyway, such a good set. Even if we're missing two that could be sitting right there. It's time for Abby's card ranking. Number one, obviously. Two, three, four, five. Oh, the unique card, so good. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And then I guess the flock ones can be 11 and 12 because doubles. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to purchase your own set, you can find them at Finding Unicorn. And don't forget to use my coupon code when you shop at Finding Unicorn. You get 15% off. I'll see you all next time. Bye.